stand at the top of our mats. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. So we're going to stand at the top of our mats like we were. Engage the legs, engage the core, widen across the chest, engage the arms, spread the fingers. Keeping all these actions in mind, we're going to inhale and sweep the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold, keeping a strong core, strong legs. Inhale, halfway up, widen across the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up towards the sky. Keep the shoulders down as you exhale, hands to the heart and then by the side. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Again, legs are strong, core is strong. Inhale, halfway up, widen across the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up, keeping a strong core. Keeping the shoulders down, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Come on up with a strong core, strong legs. Chest is wide, arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. And here we'll just rock here from side to side. Relax the neck. Relax the torso down. Just let everything hand. Bend your knees if you have to. Massaging out the low back. Cradle your arms if you wish. Warming up for practice today. Inhale halfway up. Exhale fold. Inhale sweep all the way up towards the sky. Hands to the heart. Arms by the sides. Inhale sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands and walk the feet back to downward facing dog. Bend the knees. And then lengthen the spine and then come back up. Bend the knees again and then try to lengthen the torso by dipping the head down. And then straighten the legs. We'll do that one more time. Bend the knees. Lengthen the upper body. And then the last thing. Straighten the legs. Nice. We'll take a few more breaths here in Downward Facing Dog. Adho Mukha Jvanasana. And then on the next exhale, walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Sweep all the way up towards the sky. Hands to the heart. Arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold, and then walk the feet, right foot back into crescent pose. Keep the core engaged, keep the back leg strong. Feel those same actions as before when we were standing in Tadasana, mountain pose. Engage the arms as well, spread the fingers here as well. Most important, keep breathing. The next exhale, walk that foot forward to meet the other. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold. Inhale sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale sweep up, exhale fold. This time take the left foot back and come into crescent pose. So the feet are parallel here. The back heel is lifted. 
engage the core, engage the back leg, engage the arms, keep the fingers spread and keep breathing nice and long. Next exhale, bring that left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold, inhale, sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold. And then take that right foot back again. This time, drop the right heel. Foot's at an angle, the back foot, come up to warrior one. So in warrior one, we try to square the hips. So we try to bring that right hip forward. Do your best. Keep breathing nice and long, same actions. Keep that back leg strong, keep the core strong. Exhale, plant the hands and bring that right foot forward. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold, inhale. Sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Take the left foot back, drop the left heel, foot set an angle. Come up to warrior one on the opposite side. And try to bring that left hip forward. It won't go very far, but we just try to square the hips. At the same time, trying to keep that leg straight so they're opposing actions. And that's where we get the work done. Exhale, plant the hands, bring that left foot forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands and walk the feet back to downward facing dog. We'll take a few breaths here in downward facing dog. Breathing in and out through the nose. And then we'll just gently sway the hips from left to right. If you're on your tippy toes, you can simply swivel on your toes to the left and right. Next exhale, walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold. Inhale sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale sweep up, exhale fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold. Walk the feet back to plank pose this time. So engage the legs, engage the core, widen across the chest, engage the arms. Feel those same actions that help you stay up. Same actions as in Tadasana when we were standing in mountain pose. Now we're going to lower all the way down as slowly as we can. Keep the hands where they are. Inhale, cobra, lifting the chest. Exhale, push back up to plank and then downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up behind you. We're going to keep it there for a few breaths. Engage the core. Bring that right knee to the chest. Keep the foot off the mat. I'm going to breathe here for a couple of breaths. And then plant the foot between the hands. And then come on up to crescent pose. Bring the hands to the heart. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, Twist to the right by placing the arm on the thigh. If this is too hard, you can always drop the left knee. Inhale, release, come up to crescent again. Exhale, plant the hands, find plank, chaturanga, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up behind you. Keep that core engaged to help you keep that leg up. Try to keep the hips square here. We're not twisting. 
with control, bring the knee to the chest, and we'll take a few breaths here, about two or three. And plant the foot between the hands and come on up to crescent pose, taking an inhale, then bring the hands to the heart, inhale, and then exhale, twist to the left. Next inhale, release the hands, come back up to crescent, exhale, plant the hands on the mat, find plank, drop the knees for low plank if you want, lower all the way down, inhale cobra, exhale, downward facing dog, you can always skip plank if you want. Bring the knees down, widen the knees as wide as the mat, big toes come to touch, and then sink back into child's pose. If anything hurts or you're uncomfortable or just tired, you can come down to this pose at any time during today's practice. It's a resting pose, child's pose. Push yourselves back up into downward facing dog. We'll take a few breaths here and then jump step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold. Inhale sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale sweep up, exhale fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold. Plant the hands and walk the feet back to plank pose. Keep breathing here. Lower all the way down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, lifting the chest. Exhale. Push back up to plank. Downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up behind you. With control, plant the foot between the hands. Come back up to crescent pose. And then we're going to come on to our right foot only, lifting the left foot off the mat. Coming into warrior three. Trying to keep our whole body horizontal, all the way from the arms to that left leg. Come back to crescent, exhale, find plank, chaturanga, you can drop the knees if you want, inhale, cobra, exhale, plank. Downward facing dog. You can always skip plank if you want. Inhale the left leg up behind you with control. Plant that foot between the hands and then find crescent pose on the other side. And then lifting off, lifting up into warrior three, balancing on our left leg. Again, trying to make that entire body horizontal. Come back to crescent, take a deep breath in on the exhale, plant the hands, find plank, chaturanga, lower, inhale, cobra, or up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here in downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Inhale halfway up. Exhale fold. Inhale sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale hands to the heart, arms by the sides. 
Now grab a belt if you have one. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. And walk the feet back into plank pose. Chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up behind you. Plant the foot between the hands. Drop the left heel. Grab your strap. Have it handy, warrior one, with the strap in the hand. And then you're going to take the strap behind you. Just grab it with both hands, keeping some distance between the hands, depending on where you're comfortable today. Wider would be a little bit easier. Exhale, fold into the space to the left of that right knee and take the arms up towards the sky. Keep breathing nice and long. Come on up, release the strap, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, find plank, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Move the strap over to the other side. Inhale, the left leg up behind you. Plant the foot between the hands. Drop the right heel, inhale, come on up to warrior one with the strap in the hand, nice. Then we'll take the strap behind us again and again. You can adjust the distance between the hands along the strap. Widen across the chest here and then exhale, fold into that space. And take the arms up as much as they'll go. One side might feel different from the other and that's perfectly okay. Come on up. Release the strap. Inhale to warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands. Find plank, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. And take a few more breaths here, and then bring the knees down and find child's pose. Link the big toes, knees are wide. Rest there for a bit. Push yourselves back up into downward facing dog. We'll take a few breaths here, nice and long, in down dog. Then walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Inhale halfway up. Exhale fold. Inhale sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Find plank pose. And this time, take the right hand, left hand underneath your face, and then swivel around so you're facing right. And then take the other arm up, and then see if you can separate the legs, scissor the legs. It's optional. You can just keep them together as well. Okay, come back to plank and then we'll do the other side. Take the right hand underneath your face and then come on to the outer edge of the right foot facing the opposite side this time, the left side. And if you want, you can separate 
the legs. This is Vashisthasana, side plank. Come back to plank, and then lower, all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next exhale, walk step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up, exhale fold. Inhale sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale hands to the heart, arms by the sides. Inhale sweep up, exhale fold. And this time we'll sit in Malasana. So it's just sitting in a squat. Your legs are apart, your feet are apart. Try to get your heels down on the mat. If you're on your toes, that's fine. Just do what you can. This is Malasana, opening up the hips a little here. We're not going to do anything fancy for a few breaths. And then we're going to do something fancy. <laughs> we're going to try to do Bakasana, crow pose. So you're going to try to get your knees as close to the armpits as you can and then lift one foot and then lift the other foot off the mat and try to balance here as best as you can if you're not able to just be happy where you are today and then jump back to chaturanga if you can or just come on out of the pose and then go through a vinyasa and find downward facing dog so that was the peak pose today bakasana we warmed up our wrists, our arms, our core. Next exhale, walk over, jump to the top. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up towards the sky. Hands to the heart. Arms by the sides. All right, so now we're going to work on some balance. <laughs> so you're going to rotate that left knee out and place the foot right over the ankle on the calf or on the inner thigh. And then you take the arms to the hands to the heart and then arms up towards the sky. You can keep your hands at the heart if it's easier for tree pose, Vriksasana. So we're going to keep that core engaged, the standing leg strong. You can try to gaze at an object that's not moving and then breathe. We'll hold here for about 10 total breath cycles and then release and then we'll do the other side. So you're going to rotate that right Knee out to the right, place the heel over the ankle, the foot on the calf or the foot on the inside of the thigh. Take the hands to the heart. So that's one option. You can just stay here. Don't forget to breathe. And then the other option is if you choose to, you can take the arms up towards the sky. Again, we're being mindful of keeping that left hip from going out too much. Engage that core. Okay, and then release. Come back down. Shake it out a little. Again, we're going to use our strap. We're going to stand tall on the top of our mats. And then you're going to take Bend that left knee again and take the strap and place it around the ball of the left foot. And you're going to straighten that leg up into the air. And you're going to have your hand slide down the, the strap so that you're not reaching forward too much. And so your chest is nice and wide. Now you're going to take the strap into one hand and then take that leg over to the left, opening up here. Do your best. 
come back to center, release the strap, shake it up, and then we'll do the opposite side, which is the right side. So again, you're going to slightly bend the right knee so that you can place the strap around the ball of the right foot. Strain the foot out in front, slide the hands back a little so that you're not straining your shoulders or your neck. And then try to bring that leg up as much as you can. And then take the strap into your left hand, right hand rather, and then take that leg out to the right. Nice. Keep the core engaged. Bring that leg back to center, release the strap. Take a few breaths here in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. And then we'll continue with our strap work today. So standing tall at the front top of your mats, you can take the strap behind you at a reasonable distance between the hands and then exhale, fold, and then take the arms up towards the sky. So having the strap allows you a little more space between the scapula, between the shoulder blades have tight shoulders like me, this is way better than trying to clasp the hands. Keep breathing nice and long. Come back up on an inhale. We're still going to use the strap for the next pose. Okay. Pyramid pose. You can take your right foot back a couple of feet and then with the strap behind you, you're going to fold over. Parasvottanasana. Nice. Bring the arms out towards the sky. So you should feel some length along the side body here too and a really intense stretch in that left hamstring. Come back up. Bring that right foot forward to meet the left. Now you're going to take that right foot back two or three feet, strap is still behind you. You're gonna exhale, fold forward and take the arms out towards the sky. Nice, keep breathing. Look for some length in the side body. Keep that back leg strong, even the front leg. Try not to lock the knees either. Nice, inhale, come on up. And then you can release the strap for a little bit. Sit at the top of your mats. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Find downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here. Nice and long. Our last down dog of the day. Drop the knees. Widen the knees. Bring the toes to touch. And then sink back into child's pose. Our last child's pose of the day. Okay, we're going to we're going to sit with our legs straight out in front. We're going to take a deep breath and inhale. Exhale, we're going to fold and then you can either find your legs or you can simply wrap the strap around the ball of the legs and then just fold to your edge here. And you want to slide down the hands, slide the hands down the strap so that you're not Moving your shoulders too far forward, you're going to keep that chest nice and open still. And a long spine. You're going to keep a long spine. And if you're able to, you can release the strap and then just place your hands around your feet anywhere you can hold on to. It's totally optional. And keep breathing nice and long. Should feel pretty good. Release the strap. If you're holding it, release the foot. If you're holding the foot, great. You're going to bend the left knee. Bend 
and then place the sole of the foot inside the thigh and then inhale, sweep up, exhale, fold. Again, you're going to use the strap around the ball of the foot if you want to. Or you can even just grab any part of the leg. And then if you're able to, again here, you can release the strap and grab the foot. It's totally optional. Keep breathing, nice and long. Release the strap or release the foot. Bring that knee back up carefully. Now you're going to take the right knee, bend it, and place the sole of the foot inside the thigh. Inhale, sweep up, exhale, fold. And then again, just, you can use the strap or grab any part of the leg. And if you're able to, you can release the strap and grab the toes. Totally up to you. Release the strap, come on up, or release the foot, come on up. Carefully bring that knee back up and then come to lie on your back this time. And again, you're going to take the strap, place it around the ball of the right foot. And I like to slide my hands down so that my elbows are on the mat. Take that left foot straight if it's available. Enjoy the stretch, engage both legs, flex the feet. Keep breathing. We're going to take the strap into the right hand and then place the left hand over the left hip, the front of the hip, and then take that leg out to the right. So that hand is there on the left side to make sure that that hip doesn't hike up. And just let the leg drop to your edge. Don't go towards the floor if that left hip is coming up. Come back up. I'm going to switch hands. So you're going to take the strap into your left hand and then you're going to place the thumb inside the right hip crease, kind of grabbing that right hip, keeping the right hip grounded and you're going to take the leg across the body not a lot just enough to where you feel an intense stretch and don't let that right hip come off the mat so you might only be going 15 20 degrees and that's okay you should feel something pretty intense already try to keep both legs straight and try to keep the feet flexed Okay, come back to center, bend that left knee and then release the strap and then windshield wipe the knees to the left and to the right and let's do the other side. Take the strap around the ball of the left foot, slide the hands down the strap and then straighten the right leg if it's available. You can always keep it bent, it's totally up to you. We'll be here for a few breaths, getting a nice stretch along the left hamstring, the back of the leg. Keep breathing nice and long. Take both ends of the strap into your left hand and then place your right hand over your right hip and then drop the left leg over to the left. So that hand is there on the right hip, top of the right hip, to remind you to not let that hip, hip hike up. So keep that hip down as you bring that left leg down. Keep 
come back up and then switch hands and then place your left thumb in your left hip crease kind of grabbing that left hip and take the leg across the body over to the left over to the right sorry <laughs> Keep both legs engaged, keep the feet flexed, keep breathing. Again, you don't have to go very far to feel the stretch here. So the leg is going across the body about 15 to 20 degrees, just depending on where your range is. But don't let that left hip hike up. Nice. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock here from side to side. You can make circles with your knees, placing your hands above your kneecaps. Play with the size of the circles. Nice. Then put the feet back down. Take your arms to a T. So feet are wide. Just drop the knees over to the right. If you want, you can take that right foot over the left thigh. Hook it for a twist. You don't have to hook the foot. It's completely optional. Keep breathing. Okay, release the foot, bring the knees back up. Make sure the feet are still wide and windshield wipe the knees to the left and to the right and then eventually drop them over to the left this time. And look over your left fingers or your right fingers rather. And if you want, you can hook that left foot over the right thigh. Completely optional again. Keep breathing. As you inhale, I want you to feel the spine extending, growing taller. And as you exhale, twist a few millimeters more if you can. Release the foot, bring the knees back up. Grab your toes, your big toes, with your thumb and peace fingers, and then come into happy baby, rocking here from side to side. You can even try to straighten your legs, just do what feels good. Hug the knees into the chest again, and then make circles with the knees. Switch the direction of the circles. Okay, squeeze into a ball, bury your forehead near your thighs, and then take a deep breath in, and then exhale. Release everything down to the mat, legs straight out in front, and arms by the sides, getting ready for Shavasana. We'll just be here for about three minutes. So let everything go. No more heavy breathing, no more work. This is a meditative pose where we try to anchor the mind. We try to focus on something in the present. Could be your breath, could be a mantra that you want to repeat over and over again. Or it could even be a sensation in the body that is nagging at you. But whatever it is, let's try to latch onto it and try not to think about the future or the past. We'll try to stay in the present. Looking for stillness, Shavasana.
Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bring life back into the body. Maybe sway your head gently from left to right. Take your arms overhead, interlace the fingers, flip the palms, take a deep breath in and a nice long stretch. Exhale, release the arms, bring the arms back by the sides, roll over to your right side. Draw the knees a little bit closer to the chest. We'll just lie here for a few moments. Keeping your eyes closed, see if you can push yourselves up and find a comfortable seated position. Maybe with your legs crossed in front if you can. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Slowly open your eyes and release the hands. Good job.